Stu Holden. How are we doing? Good to see you. I have to buckle up. Yes, of course. Number one rule of safety here. So you're an LA guy now, right? I am, yeah. I, I'm not used to uh, cold weather anymore. <laughs> What's going on, Houston? It's only 120 yeah. degrees I here. I know. So how are Dodger fans out there dealing with all the news about the Astros. <laughs> yeah, this is the hard part of being a Houston guy and being an Astros, Texans, Dynamo, you know, you name it, uh, is that now I live in Los Angeles and whenever people hear that I'm from Houston, the first thing they talk about is the sign stealing. Soccer could never have anything like that, right? No. There's no signs. No, there, there's nothing really in, in soccer. I mean, set pieces, you, 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 I remember when I was part of the World Cup in 2010, we were working on our corner kicks the day before we played England and our coach saw somebody up in the stands in one of the boxes that they thought was filming our, our practice. And we sent our, we always laugh about this, our security guy and our equipment guy, they went running up there to try and track this person down and they couldn't find anybody. And I think you're a little bit, you know, wary of if somebody Paranoid. was there. It's like a, a, tri a trick player, a set play. But that's really the extent you, you could probably do in, in soccer, to be honest. When it comes to your time with the Dynamo, it's clearly the two championships, right? That that is the highlight? Yeah, look, I mean, growing up a Houston guy, being here playing club soccer, not having a professional sports, uh, a professional soccer team in this city, it was really surreal for me to be a part of that. And, uh, you know, the first two years in the city, we won back-to-back -back championships. There was, you know, such a buzz and an energy about the team. The, the team was selling out at Robertson Stadium, uh, you know, those games, the championship we won in Dallas and then in Washington, D.C., uh, that's you know really big part of my career and it, it's fun to come home to still feel such a part of this club to see you know my my picture up on the wall at the new stadium in downtown Houston and then also to think back about those teams and what we were able to contribute to contributing a championship to, to the city of Houston and it's something I'm really proud of. This might be like the longest light I've ever seen. <laughs> um. Strip malls and freeways man that's Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so Dynamo Charities four mini pitches at Herman Brown Park. Simply another way to make soccer available to so many so yeah. many kids? Yeah, it, it's been really cool. I mean, when Hurricane Harvey hit the city of Houston, uh, it was a devastating event. And we started this celebrity soccer game and raised a bunch of money. And in partnership with Dynamo Charities and all the great work they're doing, we've been able to build four mini pitches here at, at Herman Brown Park. And, you know, it, it's a great way to just bring people together and give them uh, an opportunity to you know, continue to foster their love for, you know, competing or teamworks or, you know, all these different things that you can get out of the game. We're on the drive. So at this point in your life, what drives you? That's a good question. Uh, because my whole career, I was driven by a desire to play professional sports. And I remember in Houston, 16 years old, I had a knee injury and it derailed my uh, academics. Uh, you know, I, my, I went from an A student to a B's and C's because I lost something that was that drove me every single day and without knowing it I was depressed and I thought that I would be that way not having the game that I love anymore to play and to compete and you know something all that I've known since I was a kid but yet you know having a family now it's really shifted my priorities and my passions and I'm still connected to the game I work ever so hard uh, in broadcasting it's something that I love I've, I've gotten to call world cups and gold cups and I do all this stuff and I'm at all these great events, but it's my family that, that drive me on a, on a daily and providing for them a, a life that, you know, my, to see my daughter run around and love the game the way I did, it, it just, uh, it fills me with so much pride and we do that together.